What's up, everybody? So we just got to uh, ATS Diesel Performance. Um, we drove all the way out from Savannah, Georgia. Mike and his, uh, he had the CA conversions, or has the CA conversions in his truck. Um, we're getting ready to swap that out for ATS's electronics kit, and hopefully the truck will run a lot smoother. What, yeah, how much we can clean it up. So we're, we're gonna jump in the, cat, or in the truck with uh, Clint, and uh, the owner of ATS, and drive around with him and see his thoughts on the truck, and uh, go from there. I got out of the Army a little while ago and have done the diesel uh, mechanic thing for a while, heavy equipment mechanic, I worked at the hot rod shop. Um, I understand the performance aspect of how the truck should work and how it drives right now is kind of, it, it, it doesn't really please me, right? So we're going we're gonna to put these ATS um, wiring harness in and all their software and try to clean up the shifts, you know. Uh, I want to be able to turn key and drive it anywhere and hand the kids off to my wife and say, hey, go to the store, do whatever you got to do with it, and have her come back and be like, well, that truck drives like, a, like it used to. You know, it doesn't drive like a, a, a big heavy-duty truck because, you know, it, it needs to drive like a pickup truck. So, and, uh, yeah, we're, we can get it cleaned up. Yeah. All right, so we're, uh, we're in the truck now. Um, we're getting ready to just kind of show Clint and uh, show him how the characteristics of the truck drive. Um, so we're kind of starting off right here. Um, kind of feel as the, the truck goes, um, it's a little bit of jolting shifts, you know, uh, just him getting up to 45 right now. Oh, it actually feels pretty decent this time. Yeah, it wasn't as horrible as it was earlier. So, uh, you know, if you can kind of show us, you know, we'll do some, like an acceleration, you know, from, you know, like first to sixth, and I mean, the analogy you used earlier when we were kind of chatting about it, um, you said it kind of shifts like a dump truck. I, I'm getting what you're saying now when you, when we accelerate one, two, two, three, it's very, very abrupt. Yeah, it, it, especially in the lower gears, but <clears throat> just in general, the truck shifts almost as if you're right there. Yeah, you, or you'll have right to kind of slip. It hit fifth gear, and we were pulling, and I kind of lightly rolled into it, and it slipped, and then I backed out. Yeah, I, I stated that it drives, it drives like a 4500 or like a 5500, or like, you know, as you said, a dump truck, kind of like a more industrial feel. Right. And it's the same as just, you know, we're coming to this light right now. It's the same as, how we just felt like the aggressive downshifts and stuff like that. It doesn't drive like your standard, you know, what you would expect a standard, you know, medium duty you know, truck like this to drive like from the factory. Yeah, we have a, I mean, we have a lot of truck pride and we have a lot of money in these trucks, right? And we really want to make sure that they shift smooth and they're in the right gear at the right time. And the converter comes in when it should and it downshifts and that whole creature comfort thing, right? Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, I felt that. So, it kinda, yeah. it, so is that consistent? Does it always do that? Shift I, I abruptly like it, that? I, I don't know if I would call it a flare shift. I really don't know what it's called. A flare shift. Yeah, it's a flare. Sound, yeah, it's a, that, yeah, it's basically a. It I mean, I've noticed a couple of times it flared, and then a couple of times it kind of binds up. It's it's you know sets you forward. It does it all. It does that all the time since okay. I got it. That's um, the overlap. And, and that, you know, thought that's just how it's going to be. Um, yeah, Good. Let's uh, kind of go through, just go straight through the light, and let's see if we can get a a, a good wide open throttle. Okay. Well, he's giving you directions. That's, that's now, if it, uh, now if it starts to slip and slip again, like you were talking about, then certainly let out of it. I don't want to hurt your training, but I'd like to feel kind of the the uh, shift time and shift quality and what you're experiencing, what you've been talking about with this. That's the first gear right now. Oh, okay. See, that's, that's the, the cut loose you're talking about. Yep. Uh, that's that's kind of what we we. It's, it's again, like I said, that's what we kept just chalking it up to. Is we were like maybe it's just, it's how, just it how it is. It's and a then, conversion truck. Yeah. Then we learned about your translator, and we're like, oh my god, there's something else that could you know not make this run like this. <laughs> yeah. We can now that we've driven the truck and you've seen how it drives. Um, we definitely will get it get it into the shop and you know we'll we'll get your guys's products in there and I'll, I'm I think I know you are especially being your wait. truck we yeah we're excited to see that the difference for sure yeah, yeah and I get to drive it on the way home test drive was good yeah yeah we got all that kind of figured out um, kind of showed me everything that you're dealing with you know as far as the flares and the bind ups and blah 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 so I was thinking I mean we've been talking this whole time that you know you guys were going to come out and we would you know I'd like throw one of my techs on it we whipped the the original controls out and put our controls in but what do you think about 
doing it yourself. I mean, you guys are beyond qualified. Yeah. I mean, you did this yourself yeah. for the yeah. most part. You know, you've uh, rebuilt Apache helicopter engines. Yeah. So I have a feeling that you guys are as qualified as it gets. Yeah, yeah. so. We're ready to drop yeah. the pan and then we can rip out the old stuff and go over the, the harness differences and like cool. the different systems and then talk about it. Sweet, yeah. awesome. I'll see if this All right. boy's good. Okay, up. all right, let's, yeah. let's tear into it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Borderline. Little so that's interesting. So I didn't realize that uh CA conversions use the five speed style uh, manual selector switch. So since it's um, really close to Christmas and you guys have the pan off, you can throw that in the garbage, Mike, because I'm going to give you this pan. So since we're two days from Christmas, yeah, this is the pan. So we just got the bracket up in the truck, uh, and I'm just now going to take the TCM connector, plug it up into it, screw it in, and then this long portion is, as Clint stated earlier as we were going over the harnesses, this is the part that's going to route over the frame right there and down to the transmission, and then this is the part that we're going to connect to the uh, parts that are going to stay in the engine bay or go into the cab. So I'm going to connect those up real quick. All right, so uh, we started up top, uh, kind of fed the, the wires through the firewall, and then down here, Oliver is, uh, so this is where the uh, wiring harness that comes out, and then this is straight off the, uh, the uh, TC, TCM. So Oliver's gonna go ahead and connect those up. Connect those. Make sure we have a positive clip and lock in, and then we're going to end up zip tying those up to the harness that uh, came up from the trans and that way they stick out of the way and when we put the fender liner back in everything's tucked in nice and pretty. Alright so moving up top we have the harness that comes down through the uh, firewall down in there and then it actually so the T goes down and then we also have it comes to this fuse box right here which we used a bolt into a factory hole and mounted it right here um, so those are all the fuses that are in the uh, upper harness section and then right here you do have, let's see here, right about here you do have your positive wire which Oliver has routed and that comes out right there so we're going to connect that to the battery um, and then we have the other connection that we're going to have to make right there. Alright, so if you remember this was our connector that on the CA kit we had to cut the factory wires off the dash side of the truck, right? So truck side gets uh, cut and capped off. Use this connector to go to the tap shift. This goes to the column ready for your shifter. You plug it in, and then these would normally go to the trans harness from CA. Well, now that we're going back to pretty much all stock, I just took this connector, put it back on the truck, heat shrunk it, and so now it's right back to how it used to be from factory. We're going to clip it right back in, and it's done. We had routed, this is where I had routed it up over the frame right here coming from the TCM. Um, so it comes out down here, 
And then you have one connect connection right here at the uh, top of the trans. Um, and then there is a small bracket, that little ear right there, that'll actually go into this existing bolt hole in the, move this stuff out of the way, this is some of the stock BS, uh, that it'll go into this existing bolt hole of the Allison transmission. Um, moving, moving back on the harness, they try and move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see. You want to come on. They're connected, that tees off, and it uh, connects in at the top. Um, you also have this Y joint right here that has this supplied harness that will connect into your factory uh, 68 connector and then it basically uses that one pin for uh, ignition start and uh, or excuse me start and uh, reverse and then or is it start and reverse park and reverse that actually um, just gives you park oh, because park. all because reverse lights and everything are through the data oh perfect yeah but even better so uh, before we had to splice that to get reverse and everything else so this on their kit actually only gives us park um, and then that'll connect up into that Y joint. Moving farther back, there is another ear that will connect up onto one of these factory uh, threaded holes on the Allison as well. And then what you can see Mike doing right now is he's actually taking out the center trans bolt to use, there's an ear that's going to fit in on this bolt right here. So this ear, he's already got it on actually. Um, this ear is going to fit on here and it holds that in right there. And then you have the main connector that connects in, loops around and connects in right here on the back half of the transmission itself. And that's really all you have to do down down below. I think we've oh, been, it. Yeah, I think we've literally been doing this for 15 minutes once we got under the truck. Uh, <laughs> maybe BS in around 20 minutes. Uh, so everything connected. Uh, the only thing I think it would take us another five, 10 minutes to kind of get the brackets and bolts in place. And other than that, we're ready to move up to the engine bay and cab. All right, guys. So uh, we got all the components installed, um, and the, currently the truck has the manual tune file on it. From the CA conversions kit required it to have a manual tune file, and so we're going to load an ASIN tune file into it because that's what the ATS conversion kit runs off of. Um, so we're going to load that up, and then double check everything, and we get our first, we should get our first start, and uh, then we'll go out, take it on a drive, and enjoy it. Yeah, so you know right away if it uh, takes the tune okay and it starts up, then it took the tune. Because yep. you have to have the ASIN tune in it for it to actually work with the translator. And then check the tap shifter and if all that works, then we're good to go. Heck yeah. Good. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good. Cool. All right, we're excited. So we just got the translator in, got the wiring harness done. Everything's done. We got the computer reflash to the ASIN so everything talks. Um, started up, no engine codes, training codes are clear. Everything's good. So this is the initial test drive, so I'm banking a lot on this because I know Mike loves this truck really really well it's got about 300,000 miles on it you've been driving it for how long about 50 60,000 now yeah so you got yeah. 60,000 miles of seat time in this truck yeah. so you know this truck better than anybody yeah. so I am excited to to get your first impression of what you think about your new truck your new system I'm excited I mean too. from very beginning so I'm gonna turn the turn the camera over to you guys and just let you start it up and just do a normal routine Wow, it's like not pushing through the brakes like it used to. Like yeah. everything is. What's your idle at? I mean, yeah, you're you were almost at a thousand before yeah. just uh, sitting at idle. So you're back to yeah, factory. It was, uh, and that, that's because of the standard transmission tune that was in it. Yeah, yep. it kept trying to bring the idle up and load the converter and trans temp, uh, each factory trans temp yeah. back. And then my Prindle, I got my gauges, my, all my gauges work and my shift, my tap shift, everything. Literally just pulling out of the shop, I can already tell. It's not jerky. Um, yeah, it's not jerky. Like earlier when we would first start off, it would just be like, Ugh. that was so much smoother. Yeah, that was a lot better. Holy crap. Yeah, it's it's going to get just 
like butter did over time. It's going to be smooth. We didn't have to do no freaking, like, when him and I did the swap, we did a full full throttle one through six to try and get it to learn. Like, we didn't have to do any of that. It's literally. Not only that, but, like, I'm slowing down, and it's, like, it's not throwing me forward. Yeah. I noticed when you're coming up to the railroad tracks that did that. You were just chilling. Yeah. I didn't feel like we were, like, downshifting in a manual. I have to learn how to drive again. I feel like I can coast now. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not just, like, locked in, in it all the time. Yeah, I mean, even coming down, like, it would normally be throwing me forward with every gear that it, it you know, decels to, and it's not doing that right now. I like it. Now that the engine and the TCM are talking, you know, more natively, you know, they're exchanging this information, so they're handing that back off, back off all the time, and, and basically the train is always learning, you know, where where that engine's at, where your throttle is, what the calculated engine load is, you know, when it's, it needs to do a forced downshift. We, we're doing this test drive right now, you know, and, and it's going to get better and better as, as we go, you know, just driving it, you know, a couple hundred miles or whatever. But for the viewers, like, by the time we get done with this video, Mike and I are literally going to be having an entire 24 hours worth of drive time back on the truck before we get to Savannah again. So, like, we're going to be able to, it'll, I guarantee, well, I don't guarantee, but I, I just am very confident compared to like what I've already seen, like I, it, it's pretty freaking obvious that it's it's going to be really smooth by the time we're back in Georgia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels really great, you know. So far, um, the sh I haven't felt anything concerning whatsoever. Like whereas before, it felt just like I was a little hesitant to put my foot on it, you know. Like, like I felt like it was like I don't know what it's going to do. Is it going to downshift? Is it going to hit hard? You know. So, yeah. Kind of just be. How about that uh, new button on the dash that you get to use now? Oh yeah. Toe that tow haul thing. Now. Yeah, that never worked before because it was driving a tow haul all yeah. the time. Not so, only that, it comes out on the dash. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It lights back up. Everything is working. Got it your truck great. back. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Now the next goal is your wife's going to steal your truck. Yeah. That's been my yeah. goal the whole time when I heard that your wife wasn't riding your truck anymore. She hated yeah. your truck. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? When I started talking to him, like, my goal is going to be, I'm going to make, I'm going to. Make her fall in love with it? Yep, <laughs> I'm going to make her steal your truck. Yeah. You want to do a, a like a roll into the throttle real quick? Sure. Is it safe to do, Clint? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it hell. I don't know. So you'll notice the converter will drop out and then come back in between shifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's basically unless you're in tow haul. If you get a tow haul, then the then there's a much more aggr aggressive converter application. But I can finally like, you know, I guess proudly say that I can rely on the transmission now. Yeah. You know, like. I, I feel like I can, you know, when, I, when people say, oh, you have an Alice in that? I'm like, yeah, I do. Yeah. Like, and it, it's, it is as cool as you think it is, you know. If yeah. you're one of those truck guys that are even asking about it, you would know. Yeah. You know, I mean, people, people who don't know wouldn't even ask and wouldn't know any different if I handed them the keys and they hop in and go. They wouldn't know any difference. Like, they just oh, think this, it uh, drives like a, a stock truck. It's just a normal truck. It's great. I can give my keys you know, to my wife and, and let her take this anywhere. And not have to worry about her coming back saying, hey, it shifted hard that one time. I don't know what happened, but there's a lot of benefits that we just, you know, took advantage of here. And I, and I love it. Heck yeah. So. Yeah, right here is fine. Well, that includes our road test, I guess. That was great. So, yeah. That was yeah. really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, you guys, so we just got finished with the uh, the test drive. The truck drives like a factory freaking uh, Ram again. Like, it, it drives like it should. Um, Mike and I are definitely excited to get it and start taking it another halfway across the country and see how well it even gets more smooth. Yeah. Um, I just want to thank, thank you guys at ATS, uh, you know, Clinton, you, you and all the guys for, like, you know, developing such a great product that, that drive so well and was able to fix all the issues that the truck was having yeah and helping us a long way like really the install was really really easy you know yeah like it took we, us what two hours yeah, you guys did two it and a half right? hours maybe to use the lift we didn't yeah. Even, so. yeah no instructions it was like it's that easy like, that was the other thing for you guys at home we literally challenged ourselves they handed us a box and they had all instructions and and uh ohm readings and things like that and we tossed the instructions to the side I because that was we were a little ballsy but you know, yeah. We were curious if we how plug and play it was, and yeah, maybe that was a little ignorant of us, but uh, yeah, literally but it worked, no problems. Yeah, two and a half yeah. hours later, two hours later, something like that, we the truck was in and it was good. Yeah, and a lot of the time we spent you know still undoing some other things in the truck. So really, if you have a truck that doesn't even have this, you know, or some of the things that we had, you could do it in even less time. Yeah. You know. Yeah. No, you guys so. got through it really well. Yeah. 
and the end product was great. I love the smile on your face. Yeah, I do too. I like, yeah. I like the road test part. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be grinning the whole way home. So, so. Heck yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys. We're gonna jump on the road and get yeah. at it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. you guys. Yeah. So thank thanks you. for coming down. Yeah.